Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Welcome. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, How teacher. Are you? Welcome, Good night. Welcome. Good evening. How was your weekend? <laughs> what did you do this weekend? Have a good weekend. It is very fine weekend. Oh really? What did you do? <laughs> did you go out. Um. Good evening. I got Hello, it evening. to the church. Oh, okay. Hello. Nice, nice, nice church. Okay, that's good. Okay, guys, let's go ahead <laughs> and get started. Yes. I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember about the previous class? ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? What do you remember? Um, uh, for those adjectives in the, the adjectives boring, easy, dangerous. Exercise, exciting, mm -hmm. difficult, okay. and stressful. Very good, very good. Difficult, stressful, exciting, boring. Thank you. All right. Also, uh, we looked at the midterm exam. Did everybody finish the midterm exam? Did you guys already finish the midterm exam? I'm finished. Okay. Today, okay. today we are going to start the next section, which is coming from the platform, which is section number four. And we're going to look at the first activity says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You will also learn how to express the food that you like and dislike. Al finalizar esta clase, ustedes aprenderán vocabulario relacionado con la pirámide alimenticia. Ustedes también aprenderán cómo expresar la comida que les gusta y la que no le gusta. Ah, oh, okay. That is correct. Word power foods. Word power foods. Let's take a look. Los voy a poner en silencio porque se escucha ruido. Thank you. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and escuchan? practicing the vocabulary on this food Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, For good health, okay. eat a lot yes, of teacher. grains, vegetables, okay. yes, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts. Chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables. Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, 
potatoes. Grains. Bread. Cereal. Crackers. Rice. Noodles. Pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give you a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. The idea here is to practice all the vocabulary. So while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid, I would like for you to think about your friends, family, and co-workers. And think about their likes and dislikes. Um, for example, my sister likes milk, uh, yogurt, uh, but she doesn't like cheese. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes. After you complete this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. Now for this activity, what I want you to do is I want you to ask and respond with your partners. What foods do you like? What foods you don't like? What foods do you like? And what foods you don't like? And also, I want you to talk about the foods that your friends and family like and don't like in pairs. Are you ready? I want you to write your examples in the discussion forum. Write your examples in the discussion forum. Ready, let's go. Food to you like? Sí, porque le hacemos, digamos, tres de las que nos gustan, una a nosotros, uno a un amigo y una a familiar. Tres que no nos gustan, o sea, una a nosotros, una a un amigo y una a familiar. Está ahí. Vaya, eh, hacemos primero la de las comidas que nos gustan, una cada uno. Que no nos gustan. Hola, no sé si me dieron. No sé si serían las que no nos gustan. No. Es que él dijo que podíamos hacer una de las comidas que nos gusta a nosotros, un familiar o, o un amigo. Sería de las personas que nos gustan. Entonces, digamos, hagamos ahorita una oración de compañero, una oración de compañía, una oración de otro compañero, 
de la comida de Locusta. Luego avanzamos en el mundo de un asilo, de una comida que le gusta y otra de la que no le gusta, y luego un familiar de una comida que le gusta y una que no le gusta. Sí, no sé si me entiendes. Sí. Bueno, sí. Voy a mandar un ejemplo, no sé si así está bien. Por ejemplo, pero hacemos la pregunta, por ejemplo, eh, you like. No sé si es wash, wax, food, do you like? No. What food do you like? And respondemos, I, I like uh, eggs. Esta es la, es la, es la, la que acabo de hacer yo. Se la sueño. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What food do you like? I, I like uh, hamburg hamburger. Uh -huh. I like fish. No sé. I like eggs. Vaya, esas son las tres que yo acabo de formar. Es de un familiar, un amigo y, y mía. Bueno, el tramo que conecta desde el tramo que de la en el Boulevard Los Próceres. Este es un proyecto del que ya les habíamos comentado la semana pasada, precisamente la noche que inició esta intervención. Recordemos que el tramo se está cerrando a partir de las 9 y continúa hasta ah, y las 5 de la madrugada, cuando es nuevamente habilitado para que los automovilistas puedan transitar acá. Esa es la primera parte únicamente ya que yo hice eso, no sé si están bien. A ver, my favorite, my favorite food, food is fish, my favorite food is meat, my best friend's favorite food is pizza. Sí, está bien. Laura, de, de my mom, like coffee, siento que no es una comida porque el café es una bebida, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos hablando de comida, ya sea huevos, pizza, uh, arroz, macarrones, papas y todo eso. No se puede poner. A mi mamá le gustan las pupusas, los tacos, la sopa de tortilla, uh -huh. o, o el arroz, o y así. Sí, lo que es importante decir y hacer notar, Diana, seguramente los amigos televidentes ya se fijaron, es que de momento el tramo que está siendo intervenido, el sentido que está siendo intervenido, es el que va hacia el poniente. En tanto, el sentido contrario, 
Es decir, el que viene de esa pandemia, hace un momento, ¿no? el que viene de la plaza, ese todavía está habilitado, ¿verdad? Entonces, vaya tomando el juego de cuenta porque que utilizar el cuidado de los próceres para ir a la colonia Monserrat, a la autopista Comalapa, o incluso a otra de las zonas de ese lugar, pues entonces sí puede hacerlo. De momento, ¿Sí sería acá, ¿sí? el paso hacia Santa Tecla, por decirlo de ahí. Hay que tomar el paso. Diana, muchísimas gracias. Buenas noches. Vamos a la pausa. Ya regresamos. Su belleza es incomparable. Y si, digamos, hacemos una pregunta, yo le pregunto a, al compañero, ¿cuál es tu like? Y a él me responde. Y guardar algunos misterios en sus profundas aguas. Eso en las próximas semanas. Ok. All right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Let me have one volunteer, please. Teacher, eh, una consulta. Yo ahorita voy entrando porque no me dejan entrar la aplicación. Estaba okay. intentando entrar, pero solo me salía cargando. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe it's the internet. Yo creo que sí, el internet fue el que estaba, ya que se había caído. Okay. En este momento lo que estamos haciendo es uh, expresando nuestra comida favorita y la comida que no nos gusta a nosotros y a nuestros amigos y familiares. Let me have one volunteer. Let me have... Por ejemplo, sería my, my favorite food. Mm -hmm. My favorite food are pizza and, and lasaña. Okay. Sí, I don't, I don't, favorite food, no, I don't, food, no, sería I don't like, food, uh -huh, I, eh, I don't like, I don't like food, eh, pero a ver, soap, the kitchen, kitchen soap, ah, chicken soup, <laughs> chicken soup, you don't like chicken soup, I love chicken soup, <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Let me have another volunteer. Let me have another volunteer. I'm here. Okay, eh, vamos, eh, vamos con Catherine Callejas, levantó la mano, and then Eric Javier. Nada más por. Huh? Okay, teacher. Eh, yo hice tres oraciones. Okay. Hice una de una de mi persona, una de un amigo y una de un familiar. Okay, okay. Okay, my favorite food is my favorite food are hamburgers, pizza, lasaña. Mm -hmm. My friend's favorite food is hamburgers and nachos. Mm -hmm. My mom's favorite food is pupusas and chicken in sauce. Oh, okay. Nice. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, good job. Go ahead, Eric. Let me hear your examples. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, yo hice acerca de lo que me gusta y lo que no me gusta. Mm -hmm. No sé si era así, yeah. ¿verdad? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like pupusas. I don't like the fish. I like whiskey. I don't like the beer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Uh, let me have another volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. Go ahead. Um, my food like. No, my is, favorite food. Ah, uh, my favorite food like is pizza. Pupusa, hamburger, and... Hi. <laughs> okay. And... Hi. Sandwich. Sandwiches. I don't like... Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't like uh, remolacha. How do you say remolacha? Uh, remolacha, we say beets. 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 Beets.
Beats. Beats. Uh, uh, I don't like beat. I don't like berenjena. Eh, pacaya. <laughs> eh, berenjena se dice eggplant. 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 Y, y pacaya. Eh, pacaya se dice pacaya. Ah, vale. <laughs> no yeah. tiene cambio. No, no, no. Es como I mango. Don't like mango. Ni yeah, me neither. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your participation. Let me have another volunteer. Another volunteer. Okay, go ahead. Yo, okay. Eh, sí, vaya usted. But my favorite is my favorite is um, my favorite food is uh, milk and cereal with banana. My favorite food is, uh, um, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, cocktail. Cocktail. Ah, de camarón. De camarón. De Shrimp todo. cocktail. Shrimp cocktail. In the dough. Cocktail. I don't like. I don't like is pizza. My favorite uh, fruit is uh, strawberry. My uh, I don't like uh, noodles. I don't like noodles. E, uh, my favorite is, uh, meat is kitchen. Chicken. 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 Okay. Chicken. Chicken. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Go ahead, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, I don't like seafood. Creo que si se dice comida marina, verdad? That's right. Seafood. 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 Yes. I don't like seafood. Uh, I like uh, pizza, pupusas, and lasagna. Mm, I don't like onions. That's it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, guys. Eh, ahora lo que van a hacer es van a escribir los ejemplos en la plataforma. Aquí abajo. Ah, ya los escribimos nosotros. De una oh, vez. Okay. Ah, pues si ya los escribió, that's okay. ¿Cuántos, teacher? Por lo menos cinco ejemplos. All right. Let's look at cinco the next. Cinco. Yes, correct. Uh, sí, Edwin. Teacher, no alcancé a escuchar cómo dijo al final de este solo eso. That's ¿Cómo it. se dice solo eso? ¿Cómo? That, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Uh -huh. That's it. Okay, teacher. That's it. A question. Yes, Catherine. Eh, lo de escribir ahorita los ejemplos en la plataforma, ¿sería ahorita con el grupo o sería después individual? Eh, después individual. Ya vamos a continuar con la otra actividad. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, let's look at section 4.2. By the end of this class, you will learn what countable and non-countable nouns are. Additionally, you will learn how to use the expressions some and any. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre los sustantivos contables y no contables. Adicionalmente, ustedes aprenderán a usar las expresiones alguno y ninguno. Let's look at the next video. Can everybody hear? Count Can everybody hear? Non-count nouns are Escuchan? additionally yes, yes. Okay. to use yes, yes. the expressions okay. some and yes, any. Okay. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How about some sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, 
We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread, lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. And we do Listen and repeat. We're going to practice the conversation. What do you want for the picnic? What do you want, what do you want for the picnic? For the picnic. Hmm. For how about for some food. sandwiches? Hmm. Hmm. How about, how about, about some sandwiches? sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. 
Okay. okay. We, we have, have some we have chicken, chicken in and in the refrigerator. But, but we don't we have don't any bread. Any. And we don't have any cheese. And we don't, we don't have, have any cheese. Any cheese. Any cheese. Do we have mm -hmm. any drinks? Do we, Do we have, have any, any, drink? any drinks? No, we need some. No, no we need, we need, some. need some. All right, let's All get right. some lemonade. All, All right. right, let's get let's some, get lemonade. some lemonade. lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. All right, at this moment, what I want you guys to do is I want you to practice this conversation in pairs. I want you to okay. practice this conversation in pairs as many times as possible. We are going to change groups. Ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Teacher, ¿se puede mandar la imagen al grupo? Yes, right now. Me aparece un poco borroso. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll do it right now. There you go. In the WhatsApp. And let's, and let's buy some potato salad. So every, everyone like potato salad. Okay. Ahora este cambiamos papeles y, y luego si gusta vas con Cristian. Yes, yes. Okay. ¿Cuántos habemos aquí en la sala? Si somos somos tres, tres. Somos tres. Y el teacher. Somos tres. Ahorita está el teacher. Bueno. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Bien, voy a ser yo Adam y le da voz con Amanda. Okay. Bien. Um. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's do some potato salad. Sure. Uh, everyone likes potato salad. Okay. Potato, yes. Sí. Eh, hay otra compañera, no sé si también lo va a practicar. Es este, Nubia. Sí. Hola, Nubia. No tiene activado el micrófono. Creo que no. O no sé si, si gustas en lo que responde, lo podemos practicar. Este. Ahora yo empiezo. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how, about, how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't 
have any break. And we don't have uh, any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy uh, some potato salad. Sure. Anyone likes potatoes salad? Everyone. Sí. Ok. Eh, la compañera. Nubia. Nubia, buenas Para noches, nos escuchen. Quizás no. No, no sé. Hola, hola, buenas noches, Nubia. No nos escucha. En cheese, es cheese, porque es queso. Cheese. Ajá, es cheese. cheese. Ajá, cheese. Ok. Sigue, Adam. All right, guys, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers. All right, Catherine and Edwin. Catherine is Adam, Edwin is Amanda. Okay, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator. Would we don't have any bread? Bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do do we have any dried? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. Yes. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everybody likes potato salad? Excellent. All right, good job. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, very good. All right, let me have um, Delmi and Catherine Yvonne. Delmi and Catherine okay. Yvonne. Delmi is Adam, okay. Catherine is Amanda. Okay, what do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but uh, we don't have any bread. And we don't have any food. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lim lemon and let's buy some potato salad sure every likes potato salad excellent okay guys uh, now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna take the attendance when i call your name please say present uh, anna present teacher Present, thank you, Anna. Today is the fifth. Okay. <clears throat> Present, thank you. Uh, Anna Perez. Present. Thank you. Austin. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Blanca. Present teacher. Good job. Brian. Present teacher. Very good. Christian. Present teacher. Excellent. David Rodriguez. Present. All right. David Ramos. Present. Very good. Uh, Deborah. Present teacher. All right. Tell me. 
Tell me. Present teacher. Thank you. Diego. Diego. Absent, okay. Edwin. Present teacher. Excellent. Elba. Elba. Absent, okay. Eric. Present. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Jessica Romero. Present. Very good. Jessica Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. George. Present teacher. Hi. All right. Jose. Jose. Present. Okay, thank you. Present. All right, thank you. Juan. Present. All right. Uh, let me have Catherine Funes. Present. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Portillo. Present teacher. Very good. Laura. Present teacher. Okay. And Lorena. Present teacher. Good job. All right, guys. Ahora lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a escribir una conversación similar a esta acá abajo en el discussion forum con su grupo. Va a ser como que si está planificando un picnic o un birthday o algo así, una reunión y va a ir al súper a comprar las cosas. Y lo va a escribir en la plataforma. Vamos a cambiar grupos. I have a question, teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, in the groups, the name mm -hmm. is, pondríamos, perdón, los nombres dentro del el foro de la plataforma. Sí. El, los tres. Sí. Sí, okay. sí, sí, sí. Para saber que en esos grupos lo hicieron. Buena idea. Sí. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Yo también voy a ver si entra a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Aquí está, es la 4.6 en la que estamos, si no me equivoco. Solo déjenme corroborar. Bueno, voy a tener que volver a entrar. Ahorita también. ¿Cuál era, Francisco? Yo creo que es la 4.6, pero espérate, creo que aquí subieron una igual a la plataforma. Ahorita te confirmo rapidito. Vale. La cuatro cinco dice va. Mm, fíjate que buscando le estoy todavía porque estaba yendo con, con la imagen. La cuatro punto seis no será. No será la cuatro. What do you, what do you have for breakfast? Ahorita estoy viendo aquí en la plataforma. Ajá. Esa es, what do you, what, what do you have for breakfast? Mm, 
no estoy seguro, pero podemos comenzar para, para avanzar. Este, aquí hay una discusión. ¿A quién es? se podemos empezar para avanzar? Esta es Porque si no nos comemos tiempo. 4.3. 4.3, ok, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Uh Gracias, teacher. -huh. Ok, vaya, ya estamos aquí entonces. Podemos iniciar. A ver. What we need for Paris. Eso escribimos. Mm, ah, no sé, yo sugiero, pero si ustedes tienen alguna sugerencia, está bien, podemos agregar. ¿De qué vamos a hablar? ¿De una fiesta? Ajá, o de lo de... que necesitamos, lo que necesitamos para una fiesta. Mm, what do you need for the celebrate? Ajá. Está bien. Ok. Any, any the cake? A cake. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más podríamos ocupar? I need a premio, premio. I need. I need a cake. And you. Juice. Mm, vale. Mm. Podría ser. We need a value. I need. Balloons, globos. Ah, balón. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Qué me se le ocurre que pueda haber una fiesta? Es algo muy común. Um, ¿Cómo? ¿Diches? ¿Cómo? ¿Diches? Sí, está bien, platos. Yo la, yo la voy anotando aquí en, en el foro. Yo también, pero es que ay, me, me cuesta. No, pero completemos algo. Diches, diches, guaches, de diches. No, no es así, no es guaches, de diches. Mm. Yo le puse when need a, a dishes, o puedes poner, necesitamos también a need a dishes. Mm -hmm. mm, bebidas How también. How do you say We need a drink. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se dice vaso? Es cop, si no me equivoco. Glasses. No, son tazas. <laughs> Esos son tazas. Esos son tazas. Creo que son glaze. 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 Sí. Sí, ya ven, ya tenemos varias. <risa> Quiero okay, ver. We need a palo, we need a t-shirt, we need a drink, we need a glass. The drink. Case. Case. I need drink. 
Sí, está bien. Blink. Um, ah, quiero ver. Son las cosas que se, va, se usan en una fiesta. ¿no? Sí. sí. Se supone que vamos a ir a comprar esas cosas, entonces las estamos agregando. Entonces, ah. Otra idea. I need la games. No, pero tratamos de, de, de ocupar la, la estructura que nos estaban dando. Entonces podría preguntar yo si necesitamos do we need a balance. Entonces, bueno, lo voy a escribir. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. We have some chicken. Aquí estoy viendo yo la conversación. Uh, vamos a ocupar lo, lo que dice ahí también. ¿no? Ajá, sí, estaría, estaría perfecto. Entonces, podemos preguntar, por ejemplo, do we need any balance? Como que si los tenemos, entonces si no los tenemos, necesitamos comprarlos. I need buy any Ajá, sí. balloons. Ajá, entonces no los tenemos. Podemos poner. I need buy any uh, balloons. Balloons. Mm. Sí, está bien, pero si nos pasamos con las estructuras que, que nos han estado dando, de ejemplo, podemos ocupar siempre, yes, let, let's get some value. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué no tenemos, verdad? No. Uh -huh. Y si se dan cuenta, ya ocupamos en el mismo, tú, porque decimos tú venir de animales. Y luego, si sí. sí necesitamos, y decimos, ya yeah, let's get some balance. Eh, falta para, 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 el pas, para el pastel, se necesita los cubiertos. Okay. Sería covered. ¿Cómo sería esa palabra? Disculpa. Cubiertos, covered. Covered. Cover, algo así. Ajá, cover it. Ah. Con D al final, cover it. Cover it, cover it. Ok, ya lo tengo. Entonces, podemos preguntar otra vez. Do we need any uh -huh. cover? It? Do you need? Cover Entonces, oh. como también los necesitamos, podemos responder, creo, yes, let's get. Yes, I have. Cover it. Uh -huh. Ajá. Luego preguntamos para ver si está bien con eso. All right, let me have two volunteers, two volunteers that want to participate. Two volunteers that want to participate, the examples. Two volunteers. Okay, Anna, who is your partner, Anna? Uh, Eric. All right, Anna and Eric, let me hear your conversation. 
¿La digo solo yo o lo hacemos entre los dos? Entre los dos, entre los dos. Eh, entonces, si me puede compartir la, sí. la imagen, por favor. Permítame. Sí. Ya se la comparto. Permítame. Ok. Are you ready? We're waiting for Eric and Pero, Ana. Permítame, Tisha. Ahorita. Listo. Okay. Listo, Yes, ready. Action. What do you do uh, want for the picnic? Uh, Ana, tienen silencio su micrófono. Sorry, sorry. Let's continue. What okay. do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some hot dog? Okay. We have some some sausages in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any mayonnaise. Don't have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's buy some juice. That's it? That's... Okay. All right, that's good. Excellent. You understand the usage of some and any. All right, thank you. Faltó una parte, por ejemplo. Ah, okay. Let's uh, do some fried fresh. Sure. Everyone like French fries. Okay. All right. Good. Finish teacher. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I see George raised your hand. George, who's in your group? Sí, pero tengo una duda. El uso yes. del any es cuando vamos a responder este negando. Correct. Cuando es, puede... cuando es en negativo. Ajá. Por ejemplo, si tú dices no, Ajá, no entonces... hay. You say no. Ajá. There. No. Por ejemplo, si alguien te dice eh, are there any up Poles in the refrigerator. Hay manzanas en la refri, and you say no. Not there any apples. No, there aren't any apples in the refrigerator. So es para negativo. Sí, sí, esa es la duda que tenía. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, it's time to go. We got to go. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your participation. And you have a good night. Bye-bye.
Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. 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 Good night